your first and last name, please? My name's Bill Davini. Hey, Bill. Um, so, Richard Wynn for Richmond? Absolutely. Richard's been putting in now for five terms in Richmond. He's delivered on schools, listening to the, the issues with the Ministry of Housing Estates, and really worked with the people in the area. And that's one of the things that makes him stand out from the other candidates. He's, he not only says things, he actually delivers and he listens. For example? For example, in terms of schools. In, in the area, there's been two new high schools open. The previous Liberal government closed schools. He's, he's created more, uh, expanded the community health services. He's worked to create more public housing in the area. He's made sure that you know families are being looked after. And with the challenges of the state and of course the country face at the moment, how important is uh, public infrastructure, public investment in all these? Public things? infrastructure is vital. Our communities here are actually growing. Our population's growing. We'll soon be the most populous state in Australia. And as part of that, we need major investments in infrastructure. And the Andrews government have delivered in that in spades. Uh, because before that, the previous Conservatives had no capital works planning, had no expenditures, but yet now, on the ground, you can see works all around the place. So we've got to continue that work. We can't afford to go back to the wholesale permits for your mates or buddies and really get on to really delivering for the communities. And the multicultural communities, like this festival, have been going for 40 years. Labor gets back, they're going to invest $100,000 more back into it to make it bigger and better for the future. Uh, in the lead up to the election just a few days ago now, what would you say to those uh, Victorian men and women who are still doubting about what to do next Saturday? Well, the issues are in this electorate and in the urban areas, you've got a choice of Greens. They've been in 10 years in the upper house. They've never initiated anything, they've never delivered. They've, they talk about things, but they're not on about governing. Labor is on about governing and doing things. So in this electorate, if you're on about you know, trying to make sure people are listened to and the, and the uh, state is developing for the future, you only have one choice, it's Labor. Because otherwise, if you vote for the Libs, it's back to the mates and free wholesale free permits. We can't afford that and we can't afford to have ungovernable uh, a state where the Greens are just really looking after minor issues. You know, uh, where a cost of living for people, they've got no policies on that.